So, how long do you think we'll be here? I'm not talking to you. You know what? We are so screwed. Thought you weren't talking to me. Let's start Sorry. with Optimus Prime. Chris, um, your kids are think I think they're like 10 and 12 now. So mm. they are in the perfect age, you know, to say my dad is the coolest. Or are you just another Hollywood dad in which, you know, whose kids go like, eh? <laughs> it's a real roller coaster of emotions uh, from them <laughs> to me and their feelings about me. As I assume with most parents, you know, some days I'm cool. Some days I couldn't be further from it. And um and I feel that's happening more and more. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then occasionally I do a film that they like and I'm back in the good books. Um, no, we, we kind of, I don't know, kids keep you humble in the, in the best way possible. And anytime I think I'm hip and I'm up to speed with things, I'm like, what does that word mean? And all of a sudden there's a whole new vernacular and, and, and sort of phrasing that my kids use that I'm unaware of. So, But it's, all, it's really cool. I got to see him with his son last night and it's like, I was just in such awe because like, they're like, they're just friends. Like, you know, you're razzing him, he's razzing you, but he's <laughs> underneath you the whole time. Like when we were in front of the audience, he's sitting there watching us. Talk. Yeah. So like, there's adulation, but also he's like, you know, he's going to punch you in the gut yeah. later. Like, yeah. like, it's he'll, like he'll, he'll, he'll do that. And then we will go, dad, that's cringe. <laughs> and punch me in the, in and the gut. Punch you with the gut. Yeah. <laughs> Kids. It's amazing. But it's beautiful to see. I bet. Um, Ryan, what are your first memories with uh, Transformers? Did you play with the action figures? Were you a fan of the dark side of Me Megatron, or are you were more in the you know with the good ones? My childhood is complicated. Okay, so <laughs> I was in a house full of adults. Like my sisters were already in their teens when I was born. My parents, they worked. So like me getting toys w was a complicated process. So like when Transformers came out, I might have started like gambling circles to get Transformers. Let me explain. <laughs> so like like I would do certain games to like kind of win the toys of my fellow neighbors. So therefore I could have the toys because my parents just weren't, you know, getting me. But I, but all that to say is I had plenty of transformers is just, you, you were know, a I, dealer or tra you were a transformers <laughs> dealer? <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I became the plug. So then I had all these cool transformers. And I'm like, so which, so which one you went on the trade? Like, how, like how, what are we talking here? Like, awesome. what are we going to do? Uh, so yeah, like, uh, I wish we ran to school together. Yeah, <laughs> I ran it. I ran, a, I ran a Transformers cartel, technically. Yes, oh I did. Oh my God, this is so cool. <laughs> Hasbro, talk to me. Tell Hasbro to call me. <laughs> Hi there, I'm B127. I'm actually working on some nicknames. The the one I'm floating right now is um, Badassatron, which is actually pronounced Badassatron. Um, we're gonna call you B. Hi, Daniela, how are you? You're good to see you. So this is between you and I. Nobody else is going to know, but who cares about Optimus Prime? You're getting to play the coolest Transformer in pop culture. Every single little girl there wants him as a friend or as a boyfriend. <laughs> oh, really? You think? Okay. Yes. I mean, just ask little girls. Okay. Do you like okay. Optimus I love Prime it. Or do, you like, or do you like Bumblebee? They're going to be like Bumblebee. Will be. Of course. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'll take it. I will take it. <laughs> I I think that he is. I, he really he is by far the cutest character that's yes. been in all of the films. And I think think so that charismatic. Yeah, yeah. He has because he's so special. He 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 enlightens and ignites everybody's imagination because he, because in the past he couldn't talk, and I think that's what made, people would fill him in with their imagination and, and so he, he's always been such a fan favorite and and you know i was a little nervous because it, it was my responsibility to be the first version of him in the film world the first version of him talking and yeah. so we we uh we worked on that a little bit but surprisingly the director said he did not want me to do anything with my voice he didn't want me to change it he just wanted it, me to be keegan he goes i think you are bumblebee so just it's just you and I was like, oh, oh okay, we'll, we'll go in that direction. And it, was, and it was a blast. And I love it because it happens with kids that did not talk at all when they were kids. And then all of a sudden they start talking. They just start going, they start they going. They're not showing up. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I know and exactly what you're saying. He's not in this movie. It's like, oh, yeah. he I know. He just does not stop. Priorly, and now he doesn't shut up. <laughs> right. I'm glad that you got the irony of that. That's great. You were a teenager by the time the first series came up so you were more interested in something else but um how, no how I, I i loved the show you did i absolutely loved the show i was i think i was 12 or 13 so here in the states it's what we call junior high so i yeah. was uh, before i was in high school and i might the last season of it in the u.s might have been on when i started high school but I absolutely loved it. I love that show. I, I'm a sci-fi guy. I like sci science fiction. But I was a huge fan. I um, Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Because I was thinking, oh, maybe at that time he was interested in something else, you know? Also remember, you know, also remember, I'm a boy. You know, boys. <laughs> True. The most mature, you know. Hey, you know what? Um, Thundercats lady here. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> you get to participate with other people while shooting or it was as always like you were in your booth and Chris was in his booth in yeah. Australia or something. Th this particular movie, we, we, we were we were separated. We were isolated. Um, I've, been, I've been very fortunate to make, I've been able to make animated films in the past where I've been in the booth with other actors, which is yeah. always great and always preferred. But in this one, I didn't, I didn't get to meet Chris or Brian until we started, until we started doing press at Comic Con, we did the, you know, we did Comic Con, and they were they're lovely. I mean, I I, I knew Brian a little bit, but I, it was lovely to meet Chris. He's he's as wonderful as everybody thinks he is. He's wonderful. So and on Scott, top of that, he's handsome, so you hate him. Uh, it's, I mean, he, I mean, what are you gonna do? I like what, and then and then and then he's nice. So then you just want to punch him because it's like he's nice too, and you're like, get out of here. You know, you know. I know, I know. On top of that, he trains like twenty eight hours a, a day. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's always a pleasure to to talk with you. Thank you. You too. I'll see you next time, hon. Yes. Take okay. care. Take care. Bye-bye.